Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, a short video, it's a quick tip, a VBE, VBA programming tip regarding working with variables, performing searches. Now, basically, most novice developers, and actually I think the very vast majority of developers, um, when they need to find something, let's say we're trying to locate where is query performance counter used in our code, they're gonna simply come up here and they're gonna click on the binoculars find, they're going to you know, specify the scope of the search, and they're going to do find next, find next, find next. And it works. There, there's nothing wrong with that, but there's still a lot of you know, steps here and clicks. The other thing, if you're lucky enough to have the MZ tools add-in, is you can do similarly a search there, and then do a find, and it will pop up a search result where it displays all of them, and then you can double click to jump around. So that's another great tool. If you're not familiar with MZ tools, I highly recommend you look at into it. It really is one of those rare gems. But getting back to just plain VBA, VBE, what most developers aren't aware is if you're on a term, you can simply press F3 and it will bring you to the next instance and the next instance until there are no more instances in that module okay and then you get that uh, you get this dialogue that pops up just telling you there's no more to avoid that dialogue you can instead of doing f3 you can do a control f3 and it will cycle in the same manner but instead of giving you that error it will just repetitively cycle through all of them one by one so this is a great way in code to be able to jump around and find all of the locations where a variable is used very easily very quickly and with minimal effort you don't even need to get into the find dialog or any of that you can simply use f3 control f3 and now you're able to jump around in your module and locate all the places where a variable is used a term is used whatever the case may be so just a very fast quick tip on a little bit more advanced usage of the vba editor the vbe thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one guys